So now we have defined the tangent space of a variety intrinsically, and this we can use to define smoothness. First, let us make an observation about the dimension of the tangent space of an, of an algebraic variety. First, the dimension of the tangent space at a point A is greater than or equal to the co-dimension of the point A in the variety X. So if X is irreducible, then this is just the dimension of X. And so a proof sketch of this is as follows. So after choosing some uh, open subset, we may assume that X is affine. where in the affine setting. So now we look at this i a mod i a squared and uh, this is some vector space so let's say it has bases say f1 plus i a squared up to f say d plus i a squared. Then there is a lemma by Nakayama, known as the Nakayama lemma, that implies then that i a has basis f1 to f and by working a little bit, we get that i of a is f1 to fd. Yeah, the work is simply that you shrink x so much that these f1 to fd that locally are um, a basis become a basis in your small open uh, neighborhood x. But uh, the dimension, the co-dimension, so, and we also may assume that X is affine and irreducible by, again, shrinking as much as we want. So uh, what about the dimension? Well, the dimension of I of A is at least the of x minus d. This you get by applying Kroll's Hauptidealsatz d times to, to get this. And so, but we also know that, uh, so, sorry, the, the dimension of the vanishing set, I should say, of this ideal. But the vanishing set of this ideal, this has dimension zero because a is a point. So this implies that d is greater than or equal to the dimension of x in our irreducible case. So we have to argue that this becomes exactly this and uh, then we are done with this part. So the tangent space has always at least the dimension of say the irreducible component uh, where a lives and this was what we saw in the beginning in our first calculations of tangent spaces. One other observation is that if we fix a natural number n and we look at the set of all a in x where the dimension of ta is at least n, this set is closed. The reason for this, again, the idea is to reduce to the affine case and so on, and then you see that from the original definition or the computational definition of the tangent space, this amounts to some minors matching, so some rank, uh, the rank of some matrix, namely the matrix defining the, um, um, the, the uh, tangent space uh, being at most something. And so this is a closed condition and therefore this set is closed. 
The second property is known as the upper semi-continuity property of the dimension. So what we do now is we define that a point is called smooth or also regular or non-singular if the dimension of Tax, which is at least the co-dimension of A, is in fact equal to the co-dimension of A. If a point is not smooth, it is called singular. And one talks about the smooth locus of a variety, so that's the set of all uh, smooth points, and the singular locus, the set of all singular points. And if X only contains smooth points, then it is called smooth, otherwise it is called singular. So a point is smooth if it has a tangent space of the appropriate dimension, meaning that locally at that point, the variety can be approximated by a linear space. As a corollary of the above, we get that the set of smooth points is open in X simply because the set of all points where the dimension is at least the co-dimension uh, of A plus 1 is closed. So therefore, the set of smooth points is open. In fact, one can show that in any irreducible component of X, there exist smooth points. This means that the set of smooth points in any irreducible component is non-empty and therefore because it's open it is dense. And so therefore any algebraic variety has a dense open subset of smooth points. Which is reassuring, this means that most points are smooth in some sense, that the being smooth is the usual, the, the thing, the generic thing, if you wish. So let us look at some examples. Well, again, for these examples that we had before, so the vanishing of x2 minus x1 squared, there we got the dimension of t0 of x to be 1. If you go back to that lecture, so this was this curve. And indeed, this point uh, seems to be smooth. While what we got for the two other curves, when we considered this curve or this curve with A here, in both cases, Ta of x was 2, whereas the co-dimension of these point was 1. So this agrees with the picture that we get. So now the question is, is there a quick way, without drawing pictures and without guessing, to check whether or not a point is smooth? And there is, it is the Jacobi criterion, that should be quite familiar from calculus. So remember again that it is enough to consider the affine case because we can always reduce to an affine open set containing our points to check for smoothness. And so if we have an affine variety embedded into AN uh, and let's say that the vanishing ideal of this variety is generated by F1 to Fm, then a point is smooth if and only if this Jacobian matrix of the partial derivatives at A has a big enough rank. Namely, the rank is at least n, the dimension of the ambient space, minus the co-dimension uh, of A in X. And in fact, if this holds, then the rank is equal to this number. It's almost by definition, namely because the tangent space of x is exactly the kernel of this matrix J. 
from our original computational definition of the tangent space, uh, where we took our affine space, centered it with origin at A, then the, uh, uh, the definition we have, that we have this um, df dtj of A xi minus, or xj minus A rather, this uh, exactly means that Tax is the kernel of J. And we also said that it's enough to check for generators um, rather than looking at this whole vanishing ideal. So the tangent space is the kernel. So the requirement by definition of smoothness, well, so we know that the dimension of this thing is always at least the co-dimension. So for smoothness, we need it to be equal or what is equivalent at uh, most the co-dimension of A. So, so A is smooth if and only if the dimension of the kernel of J is at least the co-dimension in X of A and you can also put equality it, so at most this is dimension so you can put equality or you can say at most and this is exactly n minus the rank of j from linear algebra and so uh, rearranging you get the equalities that we need so if we go back to our previous examples, look at this thing. This is the vanishing set of x2 squared minus x1 cubed. And so this is my one and only f. And then the f dx1 is, well, it is minus 3x1 squared. And the f dx2 is 2x2 and so together j at a point so I'm, I'm now uh, being sloppy and using the same uh, letter for the variable and the point but my uh, Jacobian matrix is going to be minus 3x1 squared 2 x2. And there you can see that this has the right rank if and only if neither, uh, not both of x1 and x2 are zero. So it has the correct rank at all points except the point zero. And the way this is embedded, this is indeed the point zero. So this shows that all points are smooth except for the point A, which is not smooth. So it's a very simple and efficient criterion to check for smoothness.